Hi, I have a uh, 30 year old washing machine and uh, the belt uh, started to melt. You can see it's bad here. So I want to take just a second. I saw another video on YouTube and the guy was very helpful but he didn't really explain all the steps of replacing the belt. Um, this is a, uh, the belt is a 95 405 and it's a, a Whirlpool washing machine and it's about 30 years old. It's uh, fairly complicated to uh, get the uh, belt off but the whole thing took me an hour and honestly I don't know what I'm doing so uh, I watched a little of his video read the instructions and I think I got it here but uh, uh, first thing that you want to do is you want to disconnect uh, turn off the water and then disconnect the water hoses and then uh, <coughs> I'll lay this down, I'll take the back cover off, and uh, so we can see in the back here, and we can see, we can see in the back, and we can see in the bottom. And then basically I followed the instructions on the uh, installation here, and we can just uh, read through them. Actually, first step, disconnect the power. Second, turn off the water supply, disconnect the hoses. Third is lay the washing machine on its front. Uh, you can put a towel down first, but this is 30 years old and it's lucky to be working, so I don't care if it gets scratched. Uh, loosen the nuts holding the motor bracket, which is this, and it's up here on the top. So what you want to do is you want to loosen that nut up there, right here. And then you want to move the motor in a little and what that's going to do after you loosen it up you're going to pull this in that'll make the belt a little bit looser and then you can you know ride the belt up on this wheel and, and take it off there but uh, the next step was to remove the bracket so I removed this bracket this screw here and this screw there and then uh, there's another bracket right there uh, try to point to it this one here and it's connected down there and then there's another bracket that's over here and it's connected in the back here uh, that's screw down there so I guess I need three hands to do this or I need to mount that okay so after you got these six screws out and I I colored them green so that I wouldn't re so I remember uh, where they came from. After you get that done, then you want to unscrew the water pump, which are these two screws, but you want to leave the hose connected. So basically you're, what you're doing is you want to take the belt and you want to pull the belt out this way and you'll need to get these parts out so that you can take the belt out and get, it, and get the new belt in. Then let's see. Um, no, then it said that it's uh, a plunger and it kind of threw me off. But the plunger is this thing right here. You rotate the you rotate the wheel and notice this bracket will start to move. This is the plunger here, so you can pull that down and then. Uh, You'll see this, this will, if it goes through a cycle or two, that'll start to bend. See how it's coming around like that. And it just goes around in a, in a circle. Uh, the we the we uh, the belt goes around in a circle and then these, uh, uh, this rocks back and forth and slides in these brackets. So. You want to have it, I had it so it was orientated like, like that. So and then, uh, then after I got that, uh, then you uh, unscrew, uh, let's, let me just make sure. Okay, then it says remove the gear case mounting bolt that has the spacer and it's this one down here so when you're looking at it 
in this orientation, it's this one down here. And the spacer, you can see it on the side a little bit, it's this part right here. So you'll pull this out, this will drop out. <coughs> then there's a spring, this spring right here. You unhook the spring, and then you can pull the belt out through here, get it around here. The belt comes through this area here. This is not here anymore. And then you have to uh, get the belt to go around this bracket. This bracket right here. Fairly easy to do. It's easier to push in because it's slanted in. So what I did is as I was pulling the belt out, I put a new belt in. You know, So I started taking it out from this area and I put the new one here and then I followed it around, pulled one out, pushed the new one back in. Then after you get the belt in there, then you put the screw back on. Oh, I, okay, wait, one more step I didn't tell you. Um, uh, you'll have to you'll have to pull this out a little bit, this whole thing. You'll have to pull it out a little bit. You'll unscrew this screw, and you'll unscrew this screw. Seven turns, and that'll allow it to pull out about a half an inch. And that'll allow you to get the, uh, to get it, um, get the belt out from back in this area here. After you take the spring out, you'll slide it forward. There's a little pin there, and it'll go around behind there. Then once you get the belt out, replace the new belt and start putting it back together again. So then you basically uh, reverse the process. And uh, basically, uh, uh, connect up the spring, screw the screws in, uh, tighten these seven seven turns. Start it, that'll pull that back. Put the spacer in here, and uh, there's screw that one in. Then you can screw these two in, and then put your brackets back on, and then uh, and then. Uh, uh, pull the motor back, pull the motor back this way, and tighten it down. And that should do it. Oh, and to get the belt on, I uh, what's a little tricky for me is I uh, I put it around this gear that's inside the the motor, around that gear, around the gear that's over here by the pump, or around the uh, uh, the pulley that's around the pump, and then I then I then I, I slowly pulled this over here and I turned the wheel and, and it went, went on to the big wheel there. And then it, after it got on, that's when I pulled this back and tightened it. Okay? Hopefully we'll keep our fingers crossed, we'll screw all the panels in, we'll connect the water and then we'll see if it still works. But uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a $5 part if you get it on Amazon. I bought it from a local guy for like $25 because I could buy it right there. And if I support the local guys, they'll still be in business someday. So um, so hopefully I'll get this fixed for about $27 uh, in parts. And I don't have to go out and buy a three or $400 crappy washing machine that they make today. This is uh, 30 years old. It's built like a tank and, and it does a really nice job clean and close. Anyways, thanks. So I have the washing machine going in the basement. And I thought I'd talk to you while you can hear me now. But it's uh, it's really wailing away. So I, I didn't push it against the wall yet. I wanted to check it out. But that's uh, like 10 times better than it was when the belt was bad really beating the heck out of those whites. Washing my whites. What was happening before is it wasn't spinning fast enough and it wasn't really washing the clothes well. And we can also take a look back here and see what it's doing. Now the floor is wet. It is because when I disconnect, when I connected the, uh, when I connected the things, you can see it. So you 
see that little rocker arm rocking back and forth. It's substantially better, but the, the water uh, hoses over here leaked a little when I was connecting them, so that's why I have some water on the floor. So, uh, after it uh, washes the clothes, I'll put the panel back on and push it back in there, but for uh, about, about $27 for the belt and the hoses were maybe $22, so I pretty much have a new washing machine, an old washing machine that's washing wood new. Okay, thanks.